<laughs> Felix's windows and doors are open on his RV and we came a monsoon. He's fixing the we fix to see the big man move. Woo! Seven years, I've never seen it. This is video worthy. I'll get I'll get rained on for this. Go Felix! You can do it! Foxy ain't so sure. They're slippery. There goes Foxy. She better run before she gets too wet and gets too heavy. Go, Foxy, go. I didn't know to have the camera ready to come back. I looked up. I didn't think he'd come back. I got some suspenders. Some suspenders? I told I told everybody that Foxy better hurry because she gets so wet she get weighted down. Oh. She'd get waterlogged, you'd have to come rescue her. Oh. Her little legs would give out from the wet water weight. Not even touched. She's not even wet. Just bounces off of her. You got a waterproof dog. Yeah. <laughs> By the time she gets wet, put the gun in the water on the dog. You, you got to dunk her, right? Yeah. Martini is scared of storms. No, I Pick me up, Felix. I'm scared. Here you go, baby. I get you. I get you. Somebody get that baby May May too. Hey, everybody. Camper Van Kevin here. How are y'all doing today? Hmm? Me, I'm pretty good. The rain monsoons continue. What's that bright shiny thing up in the sky? We get we get about two hours of sunlight, sunshine every day, whether we need it or not. Uh, Felix is with me. Okay, my best buddy and sidekick, the Wolf Pack, Tucker, Baby May May, Martini, and Foxy Lady. All riding together. Uh, everything, all the mud puddles are full of water. Everything's muddy. Felix are out and I are out. We're exploring for campsites. Thought you want to go. Might want to go with us. So, uh, yeah. Tag along with us today. We'd love to have you. Come on. Felix, uh, he's getting cabin fever really bad. He likes to he likes to drive, and uh, Miss Gypsy needs to stay where she's at. So I thought I'd let him play a little bit today in the mud. Man, Felix did a good job and everything. I know. One of the reasons I brought you up here is that uh, I found a I found big I found Bigfoot's toilet. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. He's got his own composting toilet out here in the middle of nowhere. All right, I'm gonna back on up a little bit. Look at my mirror. My mirror. Let me get up here at the top and I'll let you see it. Everybody want out? Come on. Y'all go. I'll get you, Martini Lynn. 
They're so glad to be out running around. This way, where y'all going? I'm looking for Bigfoot. Well, I don't know where he's at, but I can show you his bathroom. I found it about a year ago. Now everything looks the same. Let me keep looking here. Where is it in the tree? Huh? Where is it? A box of eyes? Uh, it, it's hid pretty good. <clears throat> well, we can't find it. We've been walking around for about the last 15 minutes. And here's where I walked to and thought it would be there, and it wasn't. But someone had set up an, a real nice box here with a bucket and had compost and stuff in it. So we know what that is right there. But there were also some baby wipes. And here are the baby wipes. So it sat here for a year. I know we had the right place because they're the baby wipes. Someone got it, Felix. So I guess no one no wonder Bigfoot's upset. Know where to go now. Yeah, he he probably got mad because I used it. When you gotta go, you gotta go. Well, Tucker, I feel like I let everybody down. Well, you didn't know somebody moved it. No, I didn't. I've seen a couple side-by-sides today out here on the trails and I'm thinking I like my sidekick better sidekick geo tracker all the same thing my buddy that bought Miss Blue here's a picture of her I think it was a 93 92 93 geo tracker got a fiberglass hard top on it brand new BFGs this beautiful beautiful condition inside and out I towed it behind my BT cruiser for a while he's selling it he selling it to a buddy of his and I said well I'd, I'd, I'd like to buy it back he said you can't have it mm. <laughs> he says what you got is what you need and I was like I wouldn't mind having this blue back and he's nope can't have it back I don't know if he's serious or he's picking at me or he already sold it and then he's just telling me he's selling it. I don't know. But uh, the Wolf Wolf Wagon takes good care of us. It's nice enough to go to town and uh, you know cosmetically it's not it's not bad but mechanically it's sound so I can I can go to town in it or I can take it down in the woods. Miss Blue is so pretty. I'd cry if I'm on a limb down it. This one, not so much. So we got a pretty good trail, a little road to ride on. Once we search for campsites and do a little riding. I'm gonna put uh, the Wolf Wolf Wagon in the shop. Um, check engine light's been on for a while, but it's been running real good but I don't have power in first gear when I take off. And uh, with all this rain and everything, um, sometimes it'll stall. So I've got some something electrical that's getting moisture in it. So probably put on a fresh set of plugs and wires, get the oil changed in it. Everything requires maintenance. We've we've been uh, we've been using this car a lot the yeah. last few months. We've been putting gas in it and going. But here's the here's the strange thing. Look where a fire got out up here. I think this was deliberate uh, for service. So this thing was leaking a, a lot of oil. I was having to put in a quart every week or two. And uh, how long have we been up here now? Two months. 
it somewhere. Driving it, driving it daily, yeah. and uh, it hadn't used any oil hardly. Almost, I can't say none. What I think is that I got the gaskets and seals and stuff hot driving it, and then when I parked it for eight months and didn't drive it, I think the seals swole, swole back up and stopped the oil. Uh, Scotty Kilmer, he's got a YouTube channel on automotive stuff, and there's an additive you can put in your oil that's supposed to help. I may get that put in. I forget the name of it. If you guys know what it is, put it down in the comments below. Some Somebody recommended it to me before, but I didn't write it down. Do a pretty good job driving the wolf wolf wagon yeah. you know what tucker but every time i come in here every time we come in here we see horses don't we wild horses mustangs yeah there's horse poop we're on the right path they blend in so good maybe we'll get lucky and see some today you saw a horse? Yeah. I didn't see a horse. Backing up. Where is he? Up in the woods? No, no. Right in there. Right in there. Into the road. How did I miss him? I know. I noticed it by itself. I, I don't see any horses. Oh. I didn't want to see a dead horse today. I bet you didn't either. I don't know how I'll get that edited out. Keep it keep it uh, family friendly around here. Been letting Felix drive for the last little bit. We have run up on some flowers. I don't know if that's lilac or not. Purple flowers. That's what the rain's made up here. Rain starting. To, rain has found us. Sun has gone again. Oh. Pretty deep. Oh. Stop right here. Hold up, Felix. What kind of flower is that, y'all? People may want to know. Well, if you like, if you like that blue tracker so much, Ms. Blue, why did you sell it? Well, that's when I sold RV Base Camp in Georgia. I decided to get a new ProMaster van. And so, decided to sell uh, my BT Cruiser and Ms. Blue. I, was, I didn't want to tow Ms. Blue with the ProMaster. And I, I didn't need it at that point. But, you guys know the rest of the story how we got here. You don't I got a bunch of videos that'll show you I think it's comfortable and got the heater on July 5th 6th got the heater on I got comfortable and Felix driving he stopped and he said here goes here goes a yellow one beautiful yeah there's beauty everywhere if you take the time to look
Now up here is one of uh, the campsites I've stayed at and slept on top of the rooftop tent to get through this water here. We'll pull up here to the left. You see a little road up here, Felix. Beautiful flowers. Let's take a left right here. Yep. What you think? Nice spot. Nice spot, ain't it? What a view. Come on, Rain. There's actually even cell phone service right here. Oh, wow. But this is about as remote as I camped. I think we're probably about 15 miles off the pavement. We having fun yet? Yeah. Well, we have found a, someone camping way back here in the woods. Right over here. It's like a little clamshell camper. I see horses on the door. Anybody know what brand camper that is? Anybody this far back wants to be left alone. No problem. So Geo Trackers, Suzuki Sidekick, Suzuki Samurais are coveted by many people who uh, have motorized RVs to pull behind them. They're lightweight, they tow easy. They're dependable. They're not too expensive to purchase. Parts are plentiful. And, and I've towed, uh, I towed a, a white one and a blue one. And we're on a rough section of the road right here. And I just don't, I just don't want to tow anything behind Lady Bigfoot. You got it, boss? Yeah. You having fun? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I just don't want to tow anything. Um, I want to have a motorcycle on board. I do plan on having that. But I think I'm just going to leave the wolf wagon up here in New Mexico. And even if I don't use it, but two or three months out of the year, that'll be all right. I don't see anything that's gonna get the oil pan. If you just ease through here, I believe you got it. That rock don't look too bad until you get on it. So, I don't think I'm gonna, I don't think I'm gonna put a tow bar on this thing. Motorcycle will do me just fine for most occasions. The only problem is I just can't I can't carry the babies with me. So, you know what the old timers used to say about when uh, the sun's shining and it's raining? No. I say the devil's beating his wife.
y'all may notice that the back bumper of uh, the wolf wagon is, is pulling down. When I did the body lift on it, um, it pulled this bumper and separated it right here. And I plan on putting an aftermarket bumper on it. The front bumper was separate. And I got this gap right here. Right here. It didn't hurt anything. But the back does look a little uh, odd. One of those things I'll get to. You got a bunch of things you need to get to. How about bathing a dog? You don't have to get to that anytime soon. I don't think you can drive like that. Y'all get over here. Y'all know I ain't got no lap. You ain't got no lap. She's like, look, I got a good spot. You got a good spot? I got a good spot. I got a good spot. Use, say my, do my voice right, Dad. I don't think you have a good spot. You driving? <laughs> you don't have a good spot. Crap. Over, over the last few years, my videos have changed. It all revolves around RVs. Sometimes it's about vehicle ma RV maintenance. Sometimes it's about camping, travel. Sometimes it's day to day. But I've enjoyed the overlanding 4x4 side of it. What you think? What you think, baby, May May? Oh, I bet that was a pretty shot. I bet it was too. We're gonna get our walking in today. So I never know what my videos are gonna be about. Can't please everybody anyway. You know? I'm not gonna get in a niche. Can't get out of. I'm gonna keep keep changing it up, mixing it up. If y'all like it, y'all keep watching. If you don't, it was nice y'all being here. Getting there with the rest of them. So you gonna get you a, you gonna get you a tracker? You think samurai? You don't want to tow one, man. You, you, with Miss Gypsy being thirty foot long, you don't want to do it. Yeah. Shushus. Shush. Here to the, the mountains in New Mexico. <laughs> you can use mine. Okay, everybody. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Didn't find Bigfoot's bathroom. Found a dead horse. Yeah. Found a bunch of pretty campsites. Went back to one that I've been to before. Saw some pretty scenery. If we didn't come out here and do this, we'd have been stuck in the RVs all day in the rain. I'd have been in a tiny house. Cabin fever got the best of us. We had to get out of here. We had to get out for a while. Yep, yep. Okay. Well, I'm going to end this little video where? Right here. I appreciate each and every every one of you. You're not doing that on purpose, sorry. No. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. You guys take care. Bye. Peace. As always, I give God the glory for my life. Jesus Christ, he's my savior. Amen. I might be meeting him sooner than I expected. Easy, oh, well. easy man, easy man.